love talking to entrepreneurs because they are the ones who have vision. They are the ones who are, are willing to put their own time and talents and, and capital at risk to go out and try to change the world. And that's what we want to do from a governmental point of view is try to change the world, at least from an Ohio perspective, to make us the kind of state where more of them want to do business, where people want to invest. And I need to hear from them what we need to do to knock down the barriers that may stand in their way. Those could be regulations, those could, those could be access to capital, that could be talent. What is it that we need to do in government to help support the entrepreneurial ecosystem that will create prosperity in our state? We would say that Ohio is the most innovative entrepreneurial state in the Midwest. Uh, we have a lot of great uh, new companies that are going to be great big companies soon. Uh, and we have a, a really good ecosystem uh, in many of our cities for entrepreneurs to flourish. Uh, what government needs to do is to continue to be uh, a great partner, uh, to remove obstacles, to help grow the talent that we need for these companies to grow right here in Ohio. If you're thinking about uh, the future of your career, I don't know a better place to be than in Ohio. Uh, you know, a lot of people go off. Actually, my son did. He moved to LA, spent a couple years there, found out how hard life was there, and decided, you know, this Ohio is the place he wants to be. And I think that a lot of people are discovering that. That if you know, if you're, if you want to start a, a company, say, say for example, well, it, it's great to be in big cities, but it costs a lot to live there. Your venture capital doesn't go as far. Uh, Ohio is a great place for that. Uh, if you're looking for, you know, a commute that's rational and a neighborhood that's safe and affordable. Uh, housing that's great but affordable with all the amenities of a really big city and, and sort of a, a mid-sized city or some of our world-class cities like Cleveland, uh, Columbus, and Cincinnati. Ohio's got it for you. The Ohio IP Promise is a great uh, new uh, process we have for the commercialization of intellectual property on our college campuses and turning it into commercial or entrepreneurial ventures. What it is, look, if you're in Ohio, over the years that I've been a public servant, I've heard, wow, Ohio's got a lot of great innovation on our campuses, but we're just not very good at commercializing it. Well, I heard that enough. We wanted to change it. Our Innovate Ohio board brought together uh, our colleges and universities, our entrepreneurs, and, and uh, even the attorneys that helped uh, work this out, and we created the Ohio IP Promise. We're the first state in the nation, to the best of my knowledge, that has this, where all of our public universities and even some of our, our private ones now have a standardized process where you can convert your IP into commercial or entrepreneurial ventures. We're serious about creating the environment in our state for people to flourish, for innovations to occur, and to engage our universities more in that commercial and entrepreneurial process. I would like for us to expand this so that we include uh, our hospitals. We have some great healthcare innovations in the state. Let's make them part of the Ohio IP promise. That's an important thing. Also, I would like to be more transparent about the IP that exists on campuses right now. Let's, let's identify it, let's promote it, let's put it out there so that people uh, can commercialize it and turn it into prosperity. I'm talking to one, one professor, they, they really summed it all up, is that I can't help the rest of the world with my innovation just sitting in a lab uh, on the university. We had to commercialize it so that we could put it out there and help real people. We're going to make Ohio the most customer service friendly state that we possibly can. Uh, we, the Governor DeWine signed uh, the executive order telling all state agencies that they have to be on the same technology platform. We're going to put all of their information in the cloud and instead of having it be siloed, we're going to share that information so we can do analytics with that information, make better decisions about how we're spending state money, get better outcomes from the things that we do. And that's really important. My goal in the end is so that you never have to go into another government office ever again. I know that uh, people enjoy sitting at the BMV on a Saturday morning trying to get their driver's license or their registration renewed. No need for that. Let's automate it. Let's make it easy for people to get their services, ultimately creating a digital wallet so that we can simplify the way you interact with state government. We can make government more efficient. We can improve customer service. That's what people expect. Uh, Ohio and government shouldn't be any different than what we expect in our other consumer experiences. Access to high-speed internet, broadband, is critically important for people who don't have it. Why? You can't participate in the modern economy and education system and even healthcare system 
without it. We have a million people in Ohio, 300,000 households that don't have access. Uh, it's our goal to leverage our state uh, assets like right-of-ways and things like that to partner with businesses who will help us define the technologies and leverage our assets to extend uh, high-speed internet to more people. But one of our partners is ODOT, the Department of Transportation, because we need to prepare our infrastructure for automated driving systems. Uh, and we need to be thinking about that. How do we create 5G cities? So it's at the low end of helping everybody get on uh, the uh, high-speed internet train, uh, so to speak, and also at the high end on how we're going to adapt uh, our infrastructure for the latest technologies we need to take advantage of the latest innovations in transportation. We have to do a great job in developing talent. We have a demographic problem in Ohio as much as the Midwest does. We, have, we, are, we are losing people from our working age workforce uh, because of demographics, people turning 65 faster than 18. We have a uh, skills gap as the nature of work changes. We have to upskill people. And, and so it's all hands on deck, making sure more high school students are graduating career and college ready, more industry certifications, particularly in the in-demand sectors. We're pouring uh, $50 million into that in our high schools, uh, creating $30 million program with tech cred so that we're upskilling people in the incumbent workforce. You can, you can, as a business, you can identify an employee, you can sign them up for a program to get an industry credential, and the state will help pay for that. All of these things are about cultivating talent, uh, uh, um, it's about retaining the talent, and, and then we're also going to be marketing to young people especially that maybe used to live in Ohio and have gone, come back home. These are, th these are great opportunities, and when we do that, everybody wins. Businesses get the talent they need, people have the skills to earn a higher standard of living for themselves, and all of Ohio benefits from the prosperity that creates.